29 a.m. Thursday morning. Stay there at the facility. You just gotta kind of park off to the side because they do like shuttle runs back and forth at night. And uh, it seems like every driver, oops, I'm in the wrong lane. Every driver, you know, will tell you something different. You know, oh, you can stay over here. You can stay over here. Take the ramp on the right to I-465 South. Guess we don't we don't stop for red lights around here. And last time I stopped, I stayed there. It's like three times I've been there. <laughs> and all three times I've I've taken my break there. The last time I stayed there, well let's start. The first time I stayed there. I actually stayed in the dock. It, I don't know what the deal was. It took him forever. The second time I stayed there, he said, "Park over, you know, park over here by the pond." It was like a little tiny pond. <laughs> park over by the pond, and you'll be out of the way. All right, cool. So I park over by the pond. You know, then you know, I don't know what time. Here they come knocking on the door. You gotta move, you're in the way. So then I moved. So this time I was just like, well, I'll just park up like it, you know. I'll park over by like the employee parking. Because that night and in the morning, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of people there, you know. But almost 11 o'clock comes knocking on the door. Oh, you're in the way. Okay, where do you want me to park? <laughs> you guys say we can park here, but you know, then you just keep moving us around. Oh, park over by the woods. Out of the way. Oh, all right. So we creeped over there to the side. And it still felt like I was in the way. And I was just going to do like an eight hour break. But once I got my eight hour break done, it said I only was only going to get back like five hours and 15 minutes. I didn't really think it was, you know, and I, <clears throat> I thought I was going to be behind the ball a little bit if I, if I did that, because then I'd have to, you know, when you got five hours to drive, then you got to take a 10 hour break. I thought, you know, I could just, you know, sleep another three hours get a full 10 hour break and take off you know about three o'clock we can drive all day today 
be done about, I don't know, we'll just say around, you know, stop and get fuel, break, whatnot. We'll be done between two and three o'clock. We'll just say three o'clock at the latest. Take another 10 hour break and that'll hit me around what? 1 a.m. Then I'll, yeah, from 1 a.m. 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then I got eight hours, you know, to get to Opelousas. So that's manageable. But for right now, we're going to have to have ourselves a good day. At least 600. Yeah. 650, that'd be great. And that'd give me about. Two hundred for Friday morning, so that I wouldn't have to get up at <laughs> one a.m. <laughs> we gotta get around Indy, and we'll hit on I seventy. Oh man, seventy. 57 to 55, 55 the whole way down, so, to I-10, so, I don't know if I can make it to, make it to I-10, that's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be crazy there, that's, I ain't, I ain't even gonna try to do that, but, you know, we'll see what happens, crazier things have happened, right? <laughs> First stop, we'll be stopping in uh, Effingham. Get a little bit of fuel, get a coffee. Make it happen. I know we'll be out of Indy now. There's a lot of traffic out here for 3.30 in the morning. up after a while. Man. Alright. Just stopped here at Matthews, Missouri. Took a break. Took a shower the coffee walk Leia all that good stuff boys fix that light fix that light about halfway through the day did 340 miles the first five and a half we have exactly five hours and 32 minutes left Big Truckers Barbecue. It's not even open. Ah. coming up here not too bad ah, I thought you were gonna do it he was thinking about it
Wasn't that the Flying J that burnt down? I think there's like a Denny's in there or something. Can't remember. motorcycle all the way up here. Who's jamming? sleep in the back when I'm driving because that TV da, 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 da. It means it's time to get up I'm not sure where we're gonna stop quite yet I don't know can't look at that when it's on I just keep looking how much time do I get left how much time do I get left let it ride. I'm not sure where we're going to stop. You know, we'll probably go for another, I don't know, three, three and a half hours. Once we get a little ways past Memphis, into, into ugh, I can't even talk now, into Mississippi figure out where we want to stop for the night I mean that'd be awesome to get over on the I-10 somewhere not really sure if we can make it that far seems like every time I go to that place someone's knocking on your door and it's always for money it ain't for anything else <laughs> As soon as I come there, I just poof, shut it up, man. Shut them down. A pretty easy ride today. Yeah, so yesterday, I didn't even really talk about it. I forgot all about it. I was telling you we were gonna, I had like a, like a thumping sound up front. I didn't know if it was like, like the bushings or the pins or sound like a broken shock or uh, I, I don't know <clears throat> I took it to two different places and they you know they basically just eh, you know, there's nothing going on check the u-joints said they were tight check the shocks I mean, you could grab onto the shock you know Steering box, you know, everything's. So I got a suggestion from somebody, and I don't even know why I didn't even think about it. It makes sense, but when you're throwing all this stuff through your head, you're just thinking the worst. <clears throat> Start with the cheapest thing. Took the truck to get greased, like properly greased. Now it's silent. So I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe something wasn't properly greased. But I can, but I can say I give it a couple days. 
And if that if it doesn't come back, that means it wasn't properly greased. And that means I don't go back to TA and Petro and get my stuff greased. Or if I sit there and just eyeball them and make sure they're getting every single you know fitting. I took it over to Speedco. No problem. So see what happens, give it a couple days. But for right now, we're good to go. Let's try to fight through this rain. I guess we'll head down to Mississippi somewhere. 